all good things must come to an end, but this end is only temporary. Hey everybody, I'm Kelsey. I'm solo quarantined, and we thought it would be funny if I tried the 100 baby challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one matriarch and they're supposed to have 100 children, all with different partners. There's a lot of rules to this challenge. If you're interested in those, that link will be below. Today is our last day with Casey as an adult before she ages up into being an elder. So I'm thinking it's time to celebrate. It's time to throw Casey a big bon voyage. <laughs> Thank you guys all for enjoying season two. I know it's bittersweet because it's ending, but make sure next week to tune in to our other show, In Control with Kelsey, which is returning to YouTube next Saturday. So I hope to see you there. <laughs> is back. She just had Henry and Holden, our two new beautiful bouncy baby boys. We got Wesley. Oh my gosh, I forgot there were three Todds. Oliver, what are you doing? Grow up! It says that she has one day till age up. If we look at the calendar, tomorrow is Casey's birthday. So we will be throwing Casey her birthday party tomorrow. Let's get Casey to make what may be her final garden salad for the family as the matriarch. What is that noise? Harry, you scared me. Please don't make that terrifying noise when you resurrect, okay, buddy? Oh my God, look at them. They're terrifying. They're coming for me. But our baby boy right here is feeling fine. This is so rare. Can we just appreciate that my toddlers aren't mad at me? They're all in really good moods. You know what that means. Wow, I sounded really evil. I'm just gonna make them get their skills up. It's not crazy. Let's have the twins play dolls together. He's chatting to Kelly like, what are you gonna be when you grow up? And Kelly's like, I have no idea, but I do. Yes, King, we only need potty and imagination. I guess that means that we have more baby birth certificates, don't we, that we have to put on these walls. I feel like I'm a slave to these birth certificates. All of you that sent me angry messages about these birth certificates really didn't make me want to do it more, to be honest. Oh no, we got a stinky baby. Oliver's sad about the potty situation because he's not having fun. We hate to say, what are you doing? Kelly, get out of the toilet! Discipline recent behavior. Calmly ask her not to splash in the toilet. Oh, oh, Kelly's super mad. She's like, but I like splashing in the toilet. Oliver, reach potty level three! Next, you need imagination. Why are all my children up at 4.50 a.m.? The Petri Schmace are definite night owls, that's for sure. He's getting there, imagination, let's go. Come on, buddy, you got this. Just be a more imaginative, Oliver. Be my sweet baby, perfect angel, yeah! Help blow out candles for Oliver. Happy birthday! Just ignore all the stuff in the background that's leaky. Okay, Oliver is an insider. Okay, he loves being in clubs and tend to be happiest when surrounded by friends. And pick a number one through four. That would be four. So he's a social butterfly. Look at this future it child. He looks really groovy. Yeah, buddy. Looks nothing like Oliver. You see, why are you drinking water when you need to pee? That just doesn't make sense. <laughs> Hannah's off to school, bye Hannah. Study hard. Elliot, why aren't you off to school? Study hard, Elliot. Kelly's loving a garden salad. What a queen, already matriarch AF. Exchanging secret love day cards. <gasps> oh my gosh, today's love day. Maybe Casey needs to go on a date for a love day. Elliot decided to handcraft a card for their crush. Complete with a pipe cleaner hearts, glitter flowers, and dinosaurs. Because who doesn't want dinosaurs? Oh, Elliot. Elliot just needs to decide if she should let it slip that it was her who made the card or secretly drop it in their cubby. Well, we deliver the card by hand. I think you got this, Elliot. Oh no! Elliot's crush didn't even know she existed. This is an opportunity to change all that. Elliot bypassed the cubby in favor of a hand delivery. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to find her crush on the playground. By the time Elliot gave up and returned to the cubby, her crush's book bag was gone and the entire opportunity had been lost. Oh, well, at least she didn't get denied. There's that. Fuck up, Buttercup. Kelly reached communication level three. Oh my gosh, her first level three skill. I'm so proud. Love day school party. All week at school, kids have been asking their sweethearts to annual love day school party. There will be cookies and punch, music, the exchanging of flowers and cards, and of course, awkward chaperone. She has two options, go alone or invite someone. Invite someone, Hannah, if you want to. Oh no, why are my children having such a bad love day? 
way. It took courage. That's what Hannah would have to keep telling herself. The moment she asked that special sim to the Love Day party was the exact same moment she got shot down. The response, no, had been instantaneous and followed by the cruel snickers of her classmates. Hannah spent the day party hiding in the bathroom, embarrassed with a llama cookie, which was delicious, but didn't make up for what had just happened. Oh no, oh no. That is so rough. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Kelly acquired the potty skill. Good job, Kelly. <gasps> we'll remember this moment of Kelly learning to potty when she first accidentally wets herself as an adult. It's gonna happen. It's a rite of passage. All right, there you go. Go to bed now. Oh, Casey. Oh no, I didn't even check on Casey. Oh, Steven wants to go on a date with Casey for love day, but Casey is not available. Oh, and Henry is crying. Oh wait, but Logan's here to not do the thing correctly. Thank you, Logan, for standing in front of my child and really not helping. What are you doing? <laughs> There we go. She's so efficient. What's Oliver doing? Oliver! Nobody goes in the hot tub alone. Nobody! Get out of there! <gasps> Elliot's grades are up! And Hannah is that's still a B student, but that's okay. Good job, Elliot! Now you can be a teen like your older sister. And oh my gosh, is she smelly and tired. They have both had a terrible day at school because I made them, you know, go for the gold in terms of love. This is horrifying. What a terrible birthday time. Elliot aged up! She's neat, a perfectionist, and pick a number one through 12. It's six. It's, oh, that was very sassy. You're in a mood? Pick a number one through two. That would be two. All right, so she wants to be a master mixologist. Ooh, look at this babe. Elliot took her time, but man, does she got a glow up. Okay, it's like 5 p.m. Casey's got like half of her energy back, so let's wake her up. I'm just shocked that her boyfriend hasn't asked her on a date yet. Like, writer, it's the love day. Where have you been all day? I'm kind of mad. He hasn't texted, he hasn't called. Her ex called. Steven, the FBI agent, who we never thought would be part of the picture again called. Let's go out for a special romantic time. Let's go to the city up top lounge and hopefully they have food there. Oh, now oh, he's doing the Valentine's okay. Day thing. Give him a love day gift of, oh, give him one of your prints of the photos of you guys together. That's a perfect love day gift. Oh, yeah. Does he love it? He loves it. Wait, what? Are they fighting? What the heck? Why was he mad? Excuse you, sir. Maybe we'll go over here and order from the bar. What is Ryder celebrating? I guess he's celebrating love day over there with other people. He's too popular. Call over. Be like, Ryder, come over here and hang out with me on your date on love day. Oh my gosh, Lucian and Peter Schmidt's karaoke. Okay. I'm just still kind of mad that he didn't give her a Valentine's Day gift. I mean, she's still thinking about the present. She's even worried about it. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like he's kind Kind of be on what are you doing? <laughs> See? You know what? Maybe he'll come swimming with her. <laughs> I mean she's a little tired, so we'll we'll keep it an eye on that. Little date night. Look at the stars in the pool. Oh, this is too romantic. They look like they're swimming in a galaxy. They're so cute. <laughs> Oh, she's having so much fun with him. I like that he lets her be herself, even when she's still working on the 100 baby challenge. And also he follows her into the pool. <laughs> That's what you want, right? Get you a man who will follow you into a pool at a date. Oh, <laughs> they're so cute. She's like completely ignored the fact that Lucian's over here on a date with Darlene. Oh my God, our son's on a Valentine's Day date with this babe. Look at her. Why did he go sit over there? Oh, he's taking a nap. He's tired. Whoa, look at this view. Oh, Casey's also asleep. I think both of you need to just end the date early. He's like, hey, writer, I can tell that you're tired. Do you want to just go home? A sleepover sounds great. Okay, let's go home. They're back at home. Who all is here? Why is Leo Jr. and Daryl and Nalani all here? That is so odd. Well, that's fine. Casey's going to get to bed. Maybe woohoo with Ryder first, you know, for fun. <gasps> Chelsea's here! She's the ghost of Casey's future. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, apparently they're dancing to hot in here, but in Sims language. Elliot's sad about her love day. She was like, I wanted to have a really nice love day and I couldn't get my handwritten note to my crush. Aw, mom and dad. 
But part of this just makes me wish that they could like turn back time and Casey could live out her days with Ryder and they could have their own little family. But they do have their own little family. They have Kelly, their love child, future matriarch. Oh, Ryder said he's gonna get going. It's 4 a.m. Why didn't you just spend the night? Casey's all woken up. She's feeling fab. Happy birthday, Casey. Oh my gosh, she's gonna make some pancakes and have some lovely pancakes for breakfast. And then I think she'll take a shower, change her clothes and throw her birthday bash. Look at her show it off. Being like, <laughs> yes, I am amazing at cooking. We all know it to be true. Oh, text emergency. I texted someone, but they didn't text back. And it's been like an hour. Should I text them again? I would wait for them to respond. Casey's having her birthday pancakes. Don't do anything with that plate. C Casey, it's your birthday, okay? I'll, I'll take care of that plate. All right, now let's plan Casey's birthday look. I'm thinking it's a party look, so we're gonna go to the party outfits. Let's do something vavoom. Maybe it's time for Casey to just really, ooh, oh, maybe not that. What is this? There you go, that's your look, Casey. You've never looked more amazing. That one's good, but I think there's something better for Casey. None of these scream Casey to me. Casey, I do not know what to put you in for your birthday. I think I'm just not ready for her to have a birthday to be honest. I think this is the one I liked the best. The blue, oh, that one's pretty. This is Casey's birthday look. I really like it. Let's go for Oliver, his party look. Mm, let's not do that. I like the idea of rocking a skirt with it. I think there might be a better skirt to go with this look though. I think it looks pretty nice. Okay, Oliver, we gave you the skirt because you liked it, so we keep that. Anna, oh, what a babe. Um, She's more casual. She's more cozy, cozy chic, but I think that there's a cozy chic look that we can have you rock that's a little bit more party-esque. Yeah, something like that. Or like this. Ooh, I really like her rocking this look. You know, we love an overall, I can't help it. All right, that's her look. Elliot, you can rock this little little dress here, but maybe we'll make it in a fun color. She's gonna rock the green, but let's give her some heels to make it a little bit more party. And then for little Kelly, <gasps> there's baby overalls. Oh, she's the next week. That's her look. Wesley, what's your party look? That's pretty cute. Oh, I kind of like these little stripes. Yeah, looking cute. So this is everybody's party looks for Casey's birthday. I love how fancy Oliver got for it. And Casey obviously always looks like a bombshell. Time for a party. Plan a social event. Casey's birthday party. The time has arrived. Birthday party, obviously. The birthday sim is Casey. Yes would be Anna Oliver, Wesley, Elliot, Kelly, Leo Jr., Holly, Autumn, Olivia, Ever, August, Connor, Haley, Lucian. I feel like I'm having to choose favorites and it sucks. Blake, Ryder has to come. Oops, my hand slipped. All right, those are all the guests. Oh, and you can cater. Location, we could have it at the museum. No, we're not gonna do the pool. We did the chalet gardens for Chelsea. Maybe it's just tradition that they rent out the chalet. Although that doesn't really feel like Casey. I feel like Casey would love, <gasps> Island Bluff could be kind of cool. Or the ancient ruins. Let's do the ancient ruins. All right, let's see. Okay, ancient ruins. So we need a refrigerator to make a cake, little oven. We need like a bar. This is kind of what I came up with for Casey's birthday party. I made like a cute little seating area. Here's where the DJ is, dance floor, the bar and everything over there. So I think it's kind of cute. And it's a birthday party. Oh my gosh, it's Tom Holland. Who would have thought? Thank him for coming and wait, look who's not here. Are you kidding me? Why is it writer here? Wow, well. Everybody's still showing up, I guess, so it's fine. Looks like Casey and Tom Holland are getting along over here. He's really happy that he's here for her birthday. Chelsea Jr.'s here, Leo Jr.'s eating the most disgusting ice cream cone I think I've ever seen in my life. Well then let's go start the party over here. Oh, there he is. He arrived last. Casey's already over here with Tom. <gasps> I wonder if he's gonna come over, if Ryder's coming over. What are you doing, Kelly? Kelly is showing up to the party naked. <laughs> naked is the day she was born. Kelly, what? 
Oh, Kelly, why don't you go talk about your favorite color with your dad? Why is he just standing there? Oh, is he watching Oliver? Oh, that makes me so sad. I feel like really awkward then. Having some quality father-daughter time. Seems like everyone's enjoying the party so far. Okay, Ryder's finally coming over. What is his deal? Seems like Tom Holland's having a good time. They're just friends right now, but you know. Oh my goodness! Okay, well, why don't you go thank Ryder for coming? Oh, all of the Peaches Mays are here. Oh, she gave him a big kiss. Right in his day. Be like, hey, are you okay? Oh, she's showing off. Look at her moves. She's making sure everybody knows whose birthday it is. Look who is watching, Tom Holland. Oh, he got a thumbs up. Give him a compliment. Ask about his day, compliment his outfit. How are my children doing? They're hungry and tired. I'm gonna put little children beds over here. If you can't fix it, just add toddler beds. Now my toddlers can go to bed and we can party. It's starting to rain. It's raining on our party. No. Where is he? He's over here talking to Owen. Call him over. Maybe he's shy. He was shy the last time all of her family was over. But meanwhile, like Tom Holland's not really talking to anyone. He's kind of just looking at Casey. Maybe he's like, she's the one that got away. Oh, look, he looks sad. Is he okay? Looks like he's talking to people now and he's got an umbrella, so that's fine. Casey, where are you going? Who are you talking to now? No, it's everybody's gone. No, oh, no, the party ended and I didn't age up Casey. Wait, come back. Oh, no. I got so wrapped up in what was going on with Tom Holland and Ryder that I didn't even, oh no. Tom Holland hasn't left yet. Casey's talking to Ryder. Looks like everyone's kind of left. Oh my gosh, she's leaving. But you know who's here is her daughter. Happy birthday, Casey. Casey aged up. Seniority, wrinkled bellies, frosty locks, and interminable naps await. Party like the Reaper's not around the corner. Oh, oh, left him. oh. oh Grandma Casey is such a babe. She's talking to Wesley. She's saying, you wanna go home, buddy? Let's go home. She's running home with her baby through the rain. Well, I thought that her birthday would bring more clarity to what was going on between Casey and Tom Holland and Brighter, but honestly, it did not bring any clarity at all. And now Casey is an elder. She can no longer have any children. She is no longer the matriarch. So she can do whatever she wants. She can get married. She can like have a husband. Brighter was kind of being really distant. Maybe we should go on a date with each man and see what naturally happens. Who wins Casey's heart back? Cause right now she doesn't have a romantic relationship with Tom Holland, but they're still very friendly and he's still more sociable than Ryder was. But maybe Ryder's always been kind of intimidated by the Peter Shmay family. And that's why he took so long to say anything to Casey in the first place. Everyone's going to bed. They're like, this was a fun party, but we all need to pass out. Oh my gosh, Grandma Casey, can you believe? I guess we need to probably age up Ryder or Tom Holland, or I mean, I guess they can stay the same age. Oh no, he's got a nightmare. We need a nightlight for him. There you go, buddy. Don't wake up your sisters, go to bed. He's too scared. All right, well then go, go get a salad. A nice comforting garden salad. Casey's feeling good. First day of retirement from the challenge is going well so far. She's gonna get some leftovers of the pancakes that she made yesterday. This is so weird. Uh, this is so weird. This is so weird. What are you gonna do today? It's a Sunday, it's the day after your birthday. Why don't you ask each man on a date, although I don't know if you can ask Tom Holland on a date. Let's see if we can ask Tom Holland on a date. Oh, we can't. Okay, let's just ask him to hang out. Let's travel with Tom Holland. We'll spend a morning with Tom Holland in the afternoon with Ryder, and then we will decide who is the right man for her. Let's go to the beach with Tom Holland. He's a younger man now. We could age them up to be her age, but I think it's kind of funny to have Casey be dating some younger men. Look at her and Tom Holland. Okay, so tell him a funny story. Asked to be pushed on swing by Tom Holland. He's still looking at her like she's Bay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I feel like they're on The Bachelor, right? And she's like having to go on two different dates to decide who gets the rose. This is such a cute little moment though. I love this. Tom Holland's definitely bringing out her youthful side. What are they gonna build together? Can they talk while they build? Maybe try a little flirt, see how it goes. They haven't been flirting in a long time, in a long time. Wait, they're making a gnome in a shark outfit. That's amazing. They did so good. They just became good friends. That's pretty impressive. 
Ooh, he was down for the flirt. Give him a little heartfelt compliment. Like we're busy on our date. Let's see romance wise. Let's see a little embrace. Let's see if the sparks are still flying here. It was pretty easy to pick back up where they left off. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, see what it is. Uh-uh. Uh-oh. Uh, <gasps> what just happened? Did he try to flirt back and then she rejected him? <laughs> oh, now it's awkward. <gasps> Steve Charso denoy. Oh, he's talking about fighting now. Oh my gosh, this is going very poorly. Oh no, they're laughing over it though. And then they're friends again. I almost wonder if they're just really good friends now. I'm gonna just watch them for a little bit and see how they go. It's an awkward encounter now. I wanna see if they're, like he's talking about like wanting to put a bag over his head. Let's see, hands free. Okay, their fanship is going way up. Oh, he's talking about heartbreak. <gasps> Maybe he's saying that she broke his heart, but they seem like there's, oh, she's saying she doesn't like him. And he's laughing at it. Dang, okay, well, I, I mean, that happened so fast, but I just don't know if he's the one for her anymore. I think she might have outgrown him. Whoa, he just said he doesn't like Casey now. Okay, 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 sir. Oh, she's saying she doesn't like him now. This is so awkward. I guess they're gonna go swimming. Oh my gosh, Casey. She's just so powerful because she's so strong. <laughs> Look at her, she's just swimming away from Tom Holland like, bye, boy, bye. I think that this sums it up. Let's take Casey home. And then I guess we're gonna have to see if she and Ryder can work it out. Whatever it is that's happening with him. Casey's feeling really good. She didn't ask Tom Holland on a date, so maybe she should, should ask Ryder. We should just go hang out somewhere. Let's go back to the, the bar they first met at, the nightclub. They're gonna go to the nightclub, even though it's like during the day. It's like noon <laughs> they're gonna go to the nightclub. Okay, so they're sitting out. Oh, look at her. Look at how she looks at him. He's gazing over the water at the place where they first met. Let's, you know, express your admiration for him. Like, you're a good person, writer. Deep conversation. I feel like we need to be like, hey, dude, you've been acting kind of weird. You didn't ask me to Valentine's Day. He's talking about himself. Maybe he's opening up and telling her about, she's talking about drama. He's explaining. He's talking about a chest of drawers. Is that like moving in together? Oh shoot, she's overheating. I don't want that to happen. Let's get in your swimsuit, why not? There you go. He might not be the best with social people. He might be more of an introvert and maybe that's just their differences. She loves throwing big lavish parties and inviting everyone and he might be a little out of place, but I feel like they work it out and when they're together, they talk about llamas and they just look so happy. And it's so easy, watch. I won't, I won't touch again. We'll do the non-touch test and see what they do. He gets on his phone. You never <gasps> love she started touching, she started oh, serenading him and then they hugged. I feel like they just made each other so happy. <gasps> oh! She, she was even thinking about roses. Like as if this was The Bachelor. <gasps> and then he's giving her a back massage. Oh, I think this might be the one. This might be it. She's got college Chelsea Jr. tell her the good news. Be like, your mom's engaged. Just go party it up with Ryder in the club. My dog Chewy is really wanting attention. Oh, okay. Chewy, you wanna help me play this game? Oh, she's going in in her swimsuit. You know, it just now occurred to me that it's weird that she's wearing her swimsuit into the club. But you know what? Ryder doesn't care. Oh, they're so cute. This is where they met. And then she proposed here. They danced together and now it's time for her to go home and tell all her kids Casey is engaged. Look how happy she is. I really didn't think Casey would be the one to get engaged. I thought that she might be one of the ones that was just like, eh, I'm never gonna be tied down. Casey realized that she just wanted to spend the remainder of her days with someone that she cares about. And also she really needs to pee as usual when I'm trying to have a sweet moment and Casey's gonna go share the secret with her kids. Aw, she gave it a little hug. My ghost mother 
witnessed my engagement. She's like, oh, great. That's a very interesting way of putting it. And then I guess season three is gonna start with a wedding. Casey is no longer the matriarch. The new matriarch is this very angry toddler. Helly is the new matriarch, our wild girl who gets naked at parties and gets angry when she has to learn how to potty. I cannot wait to see what Kelly brings to the Impeach Schmay family. I had a really good season with all of you guys. Thank you so much for making this at home quarantine season super special. And I can't wait to see you guys all next week for In Control with Kelsey. Bye! Thank you so much for watching the 100 Baby Challenge. If you're interested, make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, or check out some of our other videos.